Blue Bricks Share Property Lean Brothers in back in District 27 today and we are bringing you to see an executive masonette that's covering an expensive space of 150 square meters. Yes, this beautifully renovated EM is right beside the Yishun Park Hawker Centre. It features a tree bed, tree bath and is close to lots of amenities over here. So stay tuned as we find out more. Let's go! Before we kick start, let me just share with you on the BB property facts. Where we are standing on, this block is made up of a total of 45 executive units. This block is also TOP in 1988, which means that you have a very healthy balance piece of 64 over years. Let me bring you up the BB floor plan analysis. Setting on, this is an EM1614 square feet, which translates to 150 square meter. Out of this entire two level here, it features a huge foyer. You have your living, your dining, and a combined kitchen that is already integrated together with your balcony. There is a total of three bedrooms on the second level, plus two bathrooms and a bonus bathroom on the first level. All right, so now I'm going to pass on the time to Jonathan, who will be sharing with you on the BB location analysis. Our current location lies at the heart of East Shun, providing excellent connectivity to the largest mall in this area, North Point. What's better is right beside our block, you get to enjoy a wide array of food stores as well in this Asian Park Hawker Centre. We are also in close proximity to Asian Polyclinic and Kutipa Hospital accompanied by Asian Community Hospital. Asian also boasts a Safra facility and home team NS in Khatib where residents can engage in recreational activities. With the Asian MRT station and the bus interchange nearby, it's only a mere 20 minutes journey to Orchard Road and a few stops away from Bishan allowing for easy access to interchange between the North South Line and the Circle Line. In 2030, the upcoming Cross Island Line in Amukyo will further enhance connectivity in this area. For the primary school and secondary school within 1 km, we have Huamin Primary School, North View Primary School, North Brooks Secondary School, North Learn Primary School. So let's pass on to Jessie, which will show you the rest of the house. Let's start from the foyer area first. You have your digital lock plus this very high-tech You can see people from the screen kind of uh, device For the foyer area here, the owners have installed this really minimalist Very Scandinavian style of uh, carpentry here For you to put in a lot of shoes All these are tucked with homogeneous toweling Really pristine and still very clean in terms of the condition Most of the EM usually they would feature a study room or like a guest room on the first level and this would likely be this portion over here It has already been converted into like an open concept kitchen together with your dining area Really spacious in terms of the space that you can enjoy as a couple As you enter into the kitchen, unlike most of the EM that comes with this squarish balcony that features a really high ceiling, so what the owners did is to enclose this up into like a fully sheltered balcony. So this whole place now becomes like an open concept kitchen, very beautiful quartz countertop that you can find very long in terms of the whole length. You have very nice glass backsplash together with some of the power points that you can find in various corner of the kitchen. You have a lot of carpentry done from the top to the bottom. All these are nicely laminated plus soft closing. Right at the bottom, there's even more storages as well or different sorts of a pull-out drawer and I love this whole concept this is like, okay, you want to do your dishes but sometimes you just don't want to look at the dishes, right? then what can you look at? oh, you look at the TV so it's a very interesting kind of lifestyle that you can enjoy here right at the corner, you have a dedicated area for your washer plus your dryer so this place is a little bit underutilized now let's move on to the living room Before we 
enter the living, you will see this really cute storeroom over here. As you can see, obviously this is not enough for someone who is staying in an EM. Usually for people who are staying in an EM, they are like family with like two or three kids. This is definitely not sufficient. What is the solution? The solution lies behind this entire TV console. So you take a look at the floor plan, there is supposed to be like a slant that is happening over here but you don't see that at all. We have like a squarish layout over here where your TV console and your TV is mounted onto this wall. You have a good distance to your sofa so you can chill, relax. They have also installed these six panels of balcony door of which when it's entirely enclosed, this can be become a fully AC room. Now let's take a look at the addition or like a hidden chamber of the unit. I super love this concept. The first time when I enter in, I'm like, oh, this is what you can do. So just now the store a little bit too small, right? Don't worry, you have more than sufficient storage over here. So this is what they have done for the second level as well. So before I bring you to the rest of the home tour, let me just pass the time back to Jonathan where he will be sharing with you on the BB pricing analysis. Finding an EM of the 64 years range is considered as a healthy and also a rare to find in this market currently. At this point of filming, there's only around 35 HDB executive masonet for sale in District 27. And the supply is very limited and rare to find one. So the price range from 1.08 million to 799,000. Asian Jasmine that we are in right now, there are five listings of executive masonet that range from 850,000 to 888k, which is left with a balance lease of 60. Four years. Slightly above us at the 320 series block between Yishun Ring Road and Yishun Central, the asking prices for the EM there is going at 800,000 to 1.08 million. The balance lease is also about 64 years as well. So going further up, there's also another EM that's currently on sale which is along Yishun Avenue 6 that's asking at 980,000 for a 1,572 square feet that's left with a balance lease of 63 years and 11 months. So looking at the other side of Yishun, closer to Kati, there are also some EM for sale in that area ranging from 808k to 950k for 1570 square feet size. Balance lease for the HDB units there is also around 63 to 64 years range. So let's move on to the BB financial analysis and let's break down the number for you. So if you are a first-time Singaporean couple looking to purchase a resale HDB flat in the open market, you are actually entitled to receive up to $150,000 worth of CPF housing grants. $50,000 is from the family grant and up to $20,000 from the proximity grant. So let's take a scenario whereby you and your wife are 30 years old and this is your first matrimonial house. Both of you are earning a combined income of $10,000 and assuming you have a combined CPF OA of $125,000, taking $20,000 from proximity grant for living within 4km to your parents, and family grant of 50000 for a resale executive flat, adding that on to your current CPF balance, that will total up to be about $195,000. So based on the asking price of $888,000 for our unit, if you less off the $195,000 from your CPF and your grants, you will only need to take up a HDB loan of about $693,000 over a loan tenure of 25 years at an interest rate of 2.6%. So your monthly repayment will come out to $3,223, which you can use both of your combined monthly CPF contribution of $2,300 and with a cash top up of $923 per month. So let's pass on to Jessie which will show you the rest of the house. So part of the renovation that was being done here is on the staircase. I uh, really love this industrial kind of railing and they have placed like a vinyl flooring throughout from the staircase and all the bedrooms on the second level. Let's head on to the first common bedroom. As a current layout here, they have fitted in like a double singles. This size is essentially like a king size. You have a small study table right over here. So this is likely where your kids can be working. And so cool, I mean nowadays, how many of you have a hobby of which you have a drum set in your room? Mm. 
So moving on to your second common bedroom, facing wise is the same as the previous bedroom. We are looking towards only the east. As of now, the owners are using this like a work from home kind of a space. You can see like there is a his and then there is a hers kind of workstation. Like all EMs, you have your common bathroom. So HIP has been done already. Spacious until it looks like a bedroom over here. Your flooring, your walls, all this has been nicely done up. You have a new basin plus a new WC together with two panels of window for ventilation. So last but not least, you have the highlight of the entire EM, which is the entire master bedroom itself. As you can see here, this is of a very squarish layout because the owners have done this hidden chamber over here. You might be wondering, hey, how come the master bedroom only has a bed? Because everything else is nicely hidden behind this panel. They have placed in their walk-in wardrobe right at the back of the house. If you take a look at the floor plan, because of the slant shape, they have utilised this shape such that when you enter into any portion of the unit, you won't even feel that there is a slant. It's just all really nicely rectangle and uh, squarish layout. to have the master bathroom uh, nicely done up because of the HIP as well. You have a brand new basin plus WC together with all this handle that usually comes with HIP at a very subsidised rate. There is a shower head plus two panels of window that I think the only thing they want to do as a brand new homeowner is to install this L-shaped sliding panels just to partition the wet and the dry area. For the first BB Rhino idea is for you to reinstate the fourth bedroom right at the first level. This portion here can be reconverted back into a partition with a door right at the foyer area. This could be where your granny room is. For the second BB Rhino idea, if you would like this whole house to look really squarish in terms of the layout, what you can do is to flush this carpentry all the way up to the top. You can have some openings right at this portion, some drawers, and then this is where you can put in all the shoes. For the third BB Reno idea, if you're someone who enjoys cooking like I do and you find that there is not enough countertop space, what you can do is duplicate this portion right at this side as well because this is a little bit underutilized. You can put in your washer dryer together with some of the countertop space for a more meal prep area. For the fourth BB Reno idea, if you would like to have a squarish layout, what you can do is to flush a false panel of which at the back is your walk in wardrobe. And in this squarish area is where you can have a functional bedroom, you can put in your super single plus the study desk. So for the fifth BB Reno idea, since we are going to have the fourth room as a granny room on the first level, then this would be a dedicated place for your dining area for you to host your friends and family. So thank you for staying through the home tour with us. So if you are looking for EM of this huge size, this is standing at 1614 square feet with a total of 150 square meter. If you are looking to grow your family in this spacious unit here, this is also close to lots of amenities and a lot of primary schools. Do contact our listing manager, which is myself and Jonathan. The description is all down below in the box. So uh, do remember to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We are also on TikTok, Instagram and Facebook. Blue Bricks, we are Property Lean Brothers. Always happy to show you the place. So boobie <laughs> As we find out more, let's go Property facts On to the blee 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 Alright oh, wow. So if you, are, if you are a bigger family and looking at this uh, uh, So next So let's pass the time to Jessly.